Previously, we tested the 3080 and 3090 Ti on two different setups that we have with the 13900KF and a 5900X. So we're moving along with a Zotac 2070. And you might be asking yourself, why such an old card? It's for those that potentially just upgraded or plan on upgrading to a new motherboard, CPU and memory, and can't quite keep a new GPU in the budget especially right now as GPU prices are insane. And then the other purpose of this test is to see how much better the 13900KF performs against the 5900X. So let's get straight into the test with the 2070.
Now going back to the charts, we have the 3090 Ti and 3080 from the previous test to compare. The 2070 actually performed pretty good. I mean, all considering it's a smooth gaming performance, you're not going to see any crazy high FPS with this card, obviously, but I was surprised to see the 5900X pulled ahead just a hair. Now for Cyberpunk, the 2070 struggled a little bit more, actually a lot with ray tracing on. Look at the 5900X, barely pulling 15 FPS average. For what it's worth, at 1440p with ray tracing off, the 13900KF pushes the 2070 pretty well in the game. As for 1080p with ray tracing off, I would say the 2070 is sufficient for Cyberpunk. The results are pretty underwhelming for Rainbow Six, but as you can see, the 2070 still plays the game pretty smooth on both CPUs. Coming up next is going to be the 1080 Ti followed by the 1060 unless we get the 4090, which that's another story on its own. Once it's said and done, we'll readdress what actually happened. That way we give the company a chance to make things right and get us our product back.